Hey guys, it's Dave. Just want to show you the progress I've been making on uh, the VW. Got the motor uh, stand ready to go. Um, did the break in already. Already went through the process, checked the oil, uh, make sure the oil was flowing. Uh, hooked it up and pumped it for about 20 seconds and made sure the oil light went out and all that and did the 20 minute run and burned it in and it's running really well I'm really impressed with the motor it's not leaking it's a good build engine stand is running really well this is uh, the back of it uh, got it all hooked up and worked great first time got the tachometer on there it's working oil light I got my ignition switch and the starter button and the battery and what I did was I I ran the battery line straight to the starter and then the ground I don't know if you can see it back here on the engine mount so that's my common ground and also ran a line from uh, the battery cable over to my switch and from my switch to the starter starter to the solenoid and then uh, oil light I have onto the switch and my oil sender unit and it's pretty easy hookup um, didn't have any problems tachometer is real easy it just had two lines a uh, red and a white that needed to go to the switch power chassis ground a black line and then another line going to the uh, negative side of the coil and everything worked like a charm it's a little loud I'll go ahead and start it up and there's the oil light oil light comes on push button start Like I said, it's running like a champ. Uh, the break-in went smoothly. Uh, ran it around 2,000 RPMs off and on for 20 minutes. Uh, varied the RPMs a little bit while I was doing it. Um, ran beautifully. Uh, the timing was factory set and I checked it and it looked good. I didn't have to mess with it. But it's a good sound motor. It's an 1835. Uh, dual 40s and uh, yesterday I got the transmission out it's there sitting on the floor and I still need to clean it up it's a little dirty still in there I'm gonna clean all that up uh, got the transaxles out pretty nasty it's really greasy I'm gonna clean all this up and uh, maybe paint it and detail it and then I've got a hydraulic line I'm going to run, a hard line I'm going to run through there with uh, steel braided flex cables on each end for the master and the slave cylinders. I've almost got that ready to go, but it's uh, coming together, looking good. Can't wait to get this engine in there and try it out. So just a quick update and talk to you guys later when I've made more progress. So long.